Hey guys, Lance here with the Skyforger pack. I've uh, been getting a lot of questions about uh, what I feed my dogs, usually per week. I uh, just figured I'd make a quick video on how to do that uh, with the raw food diet, or the barf diet. Uh, so first what we do is set up the veggies that go into the meal. Uh, so first we got sweet peppers, and then we have our black seed, kind of hard to see, and then chia seed, hemp seed, and chopped kale. And we're using about 10 ounces of chopped kale, 3.2 ounces of uh, seeds, all of them together, so 1.6 ounces of seeds each. And then I believe it was six ounces of uh, sweet peppers that we put in there and we put them right in this blender here now what we do is we blend it up and this lasts throughout the whole week and then periodically throughout the week uh, we um, feed it to the dogs about every other day all right and then next part uh, while we're kind of letting the vegetables settle here, uh, we have our liver. This is one pound of it. It's about uh, $2 per pound. Uh, I don't know if it says on here at all. It does not. Uh, it's about $2 per pound. Uh, and what we're going to do, since we have four dogs, there's four slabs. So it's about uh, four ounces per slab. And essentially, we're just going to how we're, we do it is we cut it into thirds um, so it'd be cut about right there and this side and then uh, for three days they would get this so we have four dogs uh, so Broly would get this Scarlet gets this Lucian gets this and uh, Vigo gets this I'll just demonstrate here Make sure to wash your hands before and after as well. Uh, see if I can get these apart. All right, so right here, uh, so Broly would get this slab today. Scarlet would get this slab today. Lucian gets this slab, and Vigo gets this slab. And then tomorrow, they will get another third out of this pack of liver. And then the next day, they'll get the last third. And then we'll skip a day. They won't get any. And then we'll pull out another pack. Same thing for another three days. So three out of, or six out of seven days, they will get liver. All right, guys, now we're on to the next general stage of preparing the food uh, again this normally won't take this long but I'm kind of doing a tutorial here so it's going to take a little longer uh, once you get in the swing of it it does go pretty quickly uh, so right here what we got is ground beef uh, it's 80 20 80 percent lean 20 percent fat fat's an important part of the meal or the dog's diet so you want to include that uh, of course just not too much that's why I decided to go with 80 20 um, and then we got the liver right here. Uh, this is what we're going to do today for normal part of their meal. Um, usually, uh, well, almost every time I'll say you want to have bone in their food every day. Uh, the reason why you don't see any bone in this is because um, we have a ton of deer legs that I got from a friend who processes deer for people. Um, so I get a ton of bone from them, from the deer, and, you know, earlier today they were out there chewing on that, uh, and they'll get some, of course, later to chew on or gnaw on, whatever they need to. Uh, tomorrow, for example, might look different. Instead of ground beef, we might have a chicken leg quarter in there, uh, which will already, of course, have the bone in it, and then they'll have the meat as well. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at now, once we get the vegetables, uh, 
I guess, shred it up or blend it up. Uh, we'll put that in there and kind of go from there. All right, guys, we have the veggies in there now. That's what it looks like. It's not very appetizing, I know. They like it though. Uh, and now, one thing I kind of want to touch on is I'm not an authority on canine nutrition or animal nutrition at all. I don't have any degree. Um, all I have is a lot of time uh, and energy put into researching how dogs should be eating. Um, I have done plenty of study too on canine anatomy as biology is uh, one of the fields I'm looking to get into. Uh, but some kind of guides for you guys to know about. Here's a book, Give Your Dog a Bone by Dr. Ian Billinghurst. He's a veterinarian from Australia. Uh, that goes over the barf diet, which is what we feed our dogs, um, and goes into what you need to do to feed the dogs, what things go in the, or what ingredients there are, and why those ingredients are in there. Uh, so that's a good resource for you to use. He's got a, a couple other books as well, The Barf Diet and Grow Your Pups with Bones. If you have a puppy and you're looking to get them started on the raw diet as well. Um, Dr. Karen Becker is another good source. Um, she's uh, been feeding her dogs raw food for a long time, a big advocate of the raw food in the veterinary community. And then check out perfectlyrawsome.com. It's a great website um, ran by a canine nutritionist um, that goes over, of course, kind of the same things as those, but it's just another source you can use if you don't want to buy the books uh, for you to find the same information on kind of create your own variation of the diet for what suits your dog's needs. Now we have added egg into the meal here and I'm adding egg today because well, I'm making a video on it and uh, just so people can kind of see what goes into the meal occasionally um, so eggs are a great source of protein fatty acids and vitamin D uh, it also comes with a shell when you're feeding the egg you do want to also feed the shell don't just feed the egg whites and yolk uh, Sometimes dogs can develop diarrhea from that. And the calcium from the egg, which eggshells are a great source of calcium, can kind of offset that. Uh, so yeah, we usually do egg two times a week. Uh, I've heard a lot of conflicting information on it. So some people say once a week, some people say twice a month, once a month, some people say four times a week. Uh, so I decided to just kind of go in the middle and it seems to be working. So. We're just going to keep with that. Um, if you notice your dog, maybe you could use it a little more, a little less. You know, work with your dog. See what works with your dog. Uh, again, what works for my dogs isn't going to be exactly what works for your dogs. So keep that in mind. All right, just to kind of reiterate again, um, I'm not an authority uh, on canine nutrition. I don't have any degree in canine nutrition. Uh, but what I do have are a lot of resources and a lot of time looking into those resources. Um, and a lot of times just studying the biology of animals and their digestive tracts and what they should be eating. Um, I told you about some resources that I've used. I'll include some of those links in the description of the video. I'll also include some, uh, a general checklist in the video of things you can get your dogs so you're not feeding them the same thing every day. So again, you won't be feeding ground beef every day. They won't be getting bored of it. Like I said, tomorrow we might do some chicken quarter. Uh, maybe next day we'll do some lamb. It all depends. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments.